Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the beginning of a new campaign in which we will be playing as a special nation in Latin America, South America really. And that shall be, not Chile, but Argentina with, this time, different game rules. Um, I did make a preset for the game, whatever. Um, no one's going to get more strength, so let's go down to here. So, AI behavior. The United States will be random. Let's make them go communist, because why not? Germany needs a little bit more of a struggle. Uh, Aust Australia will go random, though. Britain will go communist. France will go bonapartist with monarchist, because I like seeing that M word sometimes. Uh, the German Reich will go historical. India will go communist as well. Italy will stay historical. Japan will be do random stuff. Mexico will become a theocracy. New Zealand will do become an alternative democracy. Siam will go monarchist, because why not? And Yugoslavia will be random, and that's pretty much the only changes I will make. Um, colonization status, UK fragmentation, fragmentation status. Uh, there's no way for me to disable guarantees from the US, but let's do that. Uh, we don't need to save that. Of course, historical, historical AI is off. And we'll do some single player. Argentina, welcome to Argentina. Um, my goal is to go as fascist as possible. I could end the economic depression with the click of a single focus. Even though the depression is spelled with only one S there for some reason, but whatever. Uh, infamous decade. The Argentine government sees itself through a dark time which, with electoral fraud and persecution of the political opposition. And this gives the government more freedom to act, but, you know, weighs heavily on the hearts of the people, which we get more political power. Cool. Um, next up. I don't like cavalry. Thank you. Become... Yeah, I'll make a Mountaineers, because why not? Put you under Juan, or, yeah, Juan, because you're the only guy who's level 4 here. Hello, Juan. And then we should put you under Arturo Rosson. And we might go to war with Paraguay as soon as possible. No upgrades there, that's okay. Research slots. Ah, yes. We are using the, the Road to 56 mod in this campaign because... Uh... It's been a very, 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 very long time since I've actually played Road to 56, so that'll be good. Uh, infantry divisions, okay, they're not bad. Mountaineers definitely need will some will need some work. That's okay. And civilian factories, they're all 30% infrastructure. Doesn't really matter. Uh, fighters, I like the fighters, but I definitely, definitely need some field artillery here. Um, just build convoys. All these ships, they're just just straight trash. Just trash. You might as well not even have ships. Cool. And build some convoys. I don't want to waste manpower on that stuff. Ships. Um, I'll have you train for now under the good old commander of Alberto Tysair. Tysair. Something like that. And let us begin. So. We shall watch Italy probably struggle in Ethiopia. Maybe a tad bit. Um... Oh, do you not have orders? Oh, I told all only one division to go that way. Well, how about everyone go that way? We are out of 5,400 guns. We are slowly making some artillery pieces, which is very nice. Oh, fuel is not very good. Maybe I should tell my ships to not do that. Give them a few more days. I don't get a little bit more XP. Well, that would be very, very bueno. Hmm, and I'm joined here with a cup of Argentine coffee. Not bad, very good. Cool, let you guys go home, repair. Send the subs out to do the job that doesn't cost nearly as much fuel if they do it. And these subs, we have so many bad ships. The Santa Fe class. Actually, that's not bad. That could be a lot worse. Sometimes when you have, you know, some of the AI or pre-programmed ship designs, they don't they don't even have the rear one custom module slot even selected. So that could be much worse. That could actually be much, 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 much worse. So I'm actually not displeased with that but we will go fascist i was thinking about going authoritarian because in road to 56 you can go authoritarian which is basically non-aligned i was thinking about doing that but i'm thinking you know what let's go fascist just because i can get to war economy faster if my war support is high enough too so war economy will be very good what is paraguay doing they just got rid of their republicanism um, not bad. Focus on internal matters. Ah, they have a generic focus tree for now. Or the generic focus tree for row to 56. Now, to get to fascism, we will need to use an economic minister. 
or probably more of a social minister of anything. But I do also want power and politics, because I love, love political power. I love the PP so much that I want more of it. And even though we could choose personality cult in time, we probably will for more justified war goals times. Power and politics at first. Infamous decade, very nice. Immediately move to Argentina's destiny. Argentina was born with great things. Our people, of course, know this, and now it's time for the world to know this as well. That is one heck of a run-on sentence. Uh, but that's okay. Cool. Um, I could train you guys now, but I don't want to hurt how much we're producing stuff. But at the same time, I do want to make some support artillery. Let's get some mechanized computing. So you might ask me, Mr. Mocha Lover, I almost said my first name, but Mr. Mocha Lover, what is your goals in this campaign? My goal probably is to take out all of South America. Yeah, that's pretty much all I want. South America, I don't want Africa. That's a mess. Europe, that's a mess. Asia, you'd never fight a land war in Asia. Central America, it's all right. North America, yeah, no. Ah, there goes Ethiopia. So my goal is pretty much all South America. The main target, though, will be Brazil. And whatever they do will be important to us. They have civil unrest. They have coffee barons. They have the revolution of 1930. I know historically Argentina apparently had a coup in 1930 as well. Wasn't a good year for them. Or this, it probably wasn't. I don't know that much history on Argentina. Oh, well. So they went with Polaka. Huh. So they could go with populism. Or imperialism. Which I don't want that to happen. Or federalism. Inter Integralist. Levant. Oh, this we have to watch um, Brazil with very, very keen eyes. Because you never know what those Argentinians or Brazilians are going to do. And they have a lot of manpower. If anything, if I could, I would probably puppet them and abuse their manpower. Because that's probably the biggest manpower base in South America besides me, maybe? I don't know the population of South America. I know it's not very high. Argentina doesn't have a massive amount of population. The second London Naval Treaty signed. Argentina, well, let's see. Oh, popular front victory in Francais. Buenos Aires, obviously a lot of population. Santa Fe has quite a bit. Chaco has a little bit. Uh, our core population is not even 12 million. Oh boy. Oh boy. Italy, you're going historical fascist. France is going to go Bonapartist, which is fine with me. I'm also joined here with Senor Binky. He's sleeping on my chair. You okay, Bink? Yeah, you're okay. Nationalism. Argentina is the greatest nation in Latin America. But now it's time to show the world our might. Oh, the our mighty, mighty eight divisions and the three subs that are currently training. And they're actually really experienced now. Yugoslavia recognizes the Soviet Union. Even more stoically than other nations, has for years refused to recognize the communist state that is the USSR. With today's announcement that the government of Yugoslavia will henceforth establish official relations... With the Soviets, this policy has at last come to an end. Whether this means an opening of the Yugoslav state to communist influence, that maybe will happen, though. But, of course, the tone of the announcement is important. And it was surprisingly cordial. Nice. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's get some better fighters if we're going to make some fighters. Oh, and I'm a little bit over for this. For this. Legal status of women. We'll talk about women later. Uh, power and politics. Yes, there's our stability, but now I get 1.56 political power a day. Beautiful. Ah. Uh, and do you want to go fascist? Probably next, as fast as possible, really. But man, I love my PP so much. So much political power. Just give me more of it. Uh, the nice thing about Road to 56 is that it has many, many focus trees for every nation, including Argentina. You wouldn't want to play Argentina in base game Vanilla Holy 4. That's a little boring. That's very boring. And I noticed that hit. Hitler, Hitler here. He's got quite a look, quite a suity look to him. Much different than Vanilla Hoy 4. Who's here? You are Democrat. You're fairly fascist, actually. Huh. Alright, cool. UK concedes to trade unions. Very nice. Oh, hello. War Academy graduates. France has inflation. Sounds pretty normal. Disjointed government. Action Francais, Spain will of course 
end up kill each other. Just, just keep killing each other. Italy's Italy. Romania is doing rogue guard divisions. What is Yugoslavia doing? Macedonian opposition. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My apologies. I don't mean to sneeze in front of you. But sometimes it just happens. Oh, Raj. I want to see Raj become something great. I want them to see a huge communist Raj. That'd be so cool. Just communist Indians pouring over the border into China or the Soviet Union or Iran. Oh, yeah, Iran. Oh. Oh, there goes the Spanish Civil War. They're going communist. Assembly the Tude Party. Or at least it looks like they're going communist. Revive the jungle movement. Corrupted bureaucracy. Recreate the Persian SSR. I don't... What the heck? Was there a real Persian SSR? There must have been, I guess. Oh, they're going to be in a civil war. Nationalize the means of production. Federalize the nation. Wow, that's a lot of political power. Nationalism. Thank you, nationalism. I wouldn't be anything without you, nationalism. And we can do a Viva la Patria, which we get stability, recruitable population factor, and we can create our own faction. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, do this for more civilian factories. The Break the Broca Ronsiman Treaty. Well, military youth, that's pretty good. Militarism, that's pretty good as well for more manpower. Land doctrine, that's nice. Don't want to join the Axis. I want to do my own thing. But let us end our depression. Our economic struggles must come to an end if we want our nation to prosper. No longer can we keep ourselves under the shadow of the Great Depression. It's so great that the G and the D are lowercase. Ah, and when that accomplished, we will have easily solved all economic woes for all Argentinians for the rest of time. The economy is so easy, isn't it? It's just, you click a button, and the economy is fixed after 70 days. I don't know what people's problems are. Ah, Iran declared war on the Iranian Communist Authority. Let's take a quick look at the stats. Alright, not bad. Two divisions. And the communists have double the divisions. Who are you? I Iraj? Oh, it's Iran. I've been criticized before saying Iran. It's Iran, probably. Uh, communist Authority, that's a terrible name, but, you know, whatever. Hopefully they'll form the SSR. Land Doctrine, let's do some superior firepower. The better Land Doctrine, the better Firepower Doctrine. At least according to some. And I do have some Argentinian coffee here. Ah, uh, good. Oh, wow, the Nationalists in Spain are just going gung-ho. Holy cow. Oh, hello, Franco. Volunteers from Italy, Germany. You have volunteers from the Soviet Union, but it's not looking too good for you, eh? Oh, we're getting close. More and more political power. It's very nice. We will do ideological struggle eventually, but currently... We want to become more and more fascist quickly, so let's do that. Uh, we will open up political discourse as well. Extras, contributors, I banish that. Well, if you want to check these guys out, uh, you can do it probably on your own time. The UK Vince revisits their colonial policy. Open up political discourse. 1.56 political power a day is very, very nice. Right now, the largest parties of is, of course, the authoritarianism party. Uh, I could get rid of communism or democracy, but is that worth it? Hmm, I could ban the parties. I could ban communism. Anti-communism rates does give us more weekly stability, and that could be really nice to use. Ah, dispersed industry, good. Next, tanks. Oh, support equipment will be necessary. I need more stuff. Oh, almost went over another day. Motorized will be important as well. At least get the basics, guys, come on. Prepare for civil war? Well, we'll open up political discourse, of course. Also, in the meantime, I probably will choose instead a um, military theorist so we can start editing some of our divisions before we actually get too much into a war. That'll be important to do. 1% world tension. Paraguay. Um, three divisions, 7,000 manpower. We could probably go to war with them, even though with the United States involved. I don't like that. End of economic depression. Good. We've reformed the economy, everyone. No one has problems. Stability, I want, I really, really want immigrant waves so we get that monthly population. It does cause us consumer goods and stability, but that's pretty good. 
The BCRA is okay. Military factories, industrial census. I like that. We're building a lot of civilian factories. I want more technology, though. Oh, there it is. I want more research slots. How quickly could I get to claim Uruguay? 35 days. 70 days. You know what? Let's do that. Viva la patria! Our people are aware of the greatness of our nation, and they would be, or they would gladly give their lives for it. Of course, of course. You're not a true Argentinian unless you give your life for your country. Poland, what are you doing? You're looking very Polish. Well, you got a lot of manpower. I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot of manpower. The Polish Cipher Bureau, democratic influence, fortification effort, four years plan. Excuse me. Well then. Czechoslovakia, are you going down a certain direction already? Galvanize Red Unions. Oh, Fighter 1936. Cool. What do we want next? I want bombers. I need medium bombers. Oh, but I need ships as well. That'll be important to do. But hey, we got better fighters. Fighter 2s. Wait, Fighter fighter 2s. How many fighter types we got? Fighter 2s. Fighter 344. Okay, that's different than Hoi 4. Vanilla Hoi 4. Yeah. Right now, we still have a, quite a big deficit of guns. Go ahead and train a little bit. I don't like seeing that little clover there. Green level 3 is no bueno. Alright, more decisions. I could do that. I want to ban communism. Oh, but improve worker conditions. Let's do... Uh, Weekly stability goes up by 0.5. For anti-communist raids, our weekly stability goes up by 0.7. 180 days. This is a little cheaper. Anti... Stuff like that. Yeah, let's do that. We lose stability immediately, but over time you actually get more... A little bit more stability than where you started with. So that's not bad. Good. Oh, wait. I wanted this guy. Whoops. Well, we get more stability from doing this too. And recruitable population factor. That would be great. Clover's still there. We have 22 naval XP, which will come in handy. Quite a bit in handy. Plenty of artillery. I like that. We're going to need a lot of artillery. Anything else? We're going pretty communist in this campaign, it seems like. I made the US go communist, India go communist, Czechoslovakia is probably going to go communist as well. Uh, next up. Yeah, get that. That's important. France is going right with the monarchists. Well, not necessarily right, just monarchist. Um, Czechoslovakia might be going communist. What is Belgium and the Netherlands doing? State def Oh, that sounds... Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Belgium, what are you doing? No one knows, not even them. The Dutch? <clears throat> Look at electronic innovations. Well, we don't know yet either. Italy. The backbone of the party. They're remaining, of course, fascist because we told them to. Which is good. Stalin, what are you doing? Ah. Well, we'll see what Stalin's doing in just a little bit. I want to go to war as soon as possible. So, militarism. Those who fear the military as a necessary evil are doomed to hesitate in the face of war. We will ingrain militarism into our culture to become a people of soldiers. How much we get? To wait. What was that? A little bit more. 5% more recruitable population. That's nice. That's very nice. U.S. You're supposed to be going communist, guys. Oh, there goes Iran. Continue the New Deal, which is good, so then they can do suspend the persecution through the Union Representation Act. Old Age Pension Act. Accumulate wealth tax. Desegregate the armed forces. And of course, they go with democratic socialism with the. Then the Communist Party takes over. Huh. Alright. Yeah, I definitely want this guy. Military theorist. Yeah, that helps with our land doctrine as well. Good. Two army XP. Very nice. And happy 1937, everyone. Now, the question is. If I go to war with any South American country, will the U.S. get involved? Because they're, the U.S. is guaranteeing the independence of other countries. If the U.S. gets involved, that's not going to be good for us. Obviously. 
They might. They might not. I played Road to 56 with historical AI off, and they've done nothing sometimes. The U.S. just doesn't get involved for some reason, but I just noticed that Brazil went communist. Why is everyone going communist? Severe riots. Yeah, that's what you get for going communist. Oh, they... they did they just change something? Or... They must have just done their national focus, national spirit focus stuff. Coffee barons. Okay, so at least they didn't go down with imperialism. They went with populism and second communist pooch. Skewer the green hens. Multiculturalism and cosmo cosmopolitanism. Dynamism. Words are hard. Good. More construction. What are we building? Yeah. Second a while. Ah, we have Dodge. We have Dodge trucks. Nice. It's 1937. More industry. More output, please. Please, more guns. Guns for the people. Go and stop training because I don't want to ruin how much we're making right now. Artillery is looking very nice. Very, very nice. And Japan, what are you doing? You're fascist? Now, you still... I, put, I think I put you on random? But you're still going the fascist path. Alright, well, I guess Japan really likes going fascist, or nationalist really, but, oh, and we had the Democratic Republic of Vietnam rebelling against the French Indochina colony. Huh. Oh, oh, dem hello? 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 World tension increased? Oh, hello! The Malvinas Argentinas. Oh, the... Wow, we got stability from that. Nice. <gasps> Demanded the Falkland Islands. Yes, please, Daddy. And we finished militarism. Hold on. Hold on. Now, all you Argentinian nationalists who are watching this, yes. The Falkland Islands are Argentinian now. That's right. As well as South Georgia. South Georgia. That's right. Ah, beautiful. Next. Oh, well, that just automatically completed. Oh, we need more manpower. Um, How much manpower do I have in my country right now we can only f oh we're only half we're only half oh my goodness we are limited by oh i can't do that yet even a quick deploy these soldiers that's still not enough that's only nine thousand uh so we could do that but we could do more industry building up but i want another research slot let's do Infrastructure development. If we want to pursue advanced projects or constructions, we will need an infrastructure that allow that allows us to do so. All ours allows. Hmm. Wow, we get two whole infrastructure from doing that. I think I feel so good about that. Two infrastructure. Can I just go to war with you guys? Oh man. Oh man. Come on, let's become more fascist. Uh open up political discourse. That'd be good actually to do that. And then we'll probably ban democracy, maybe? No. The the raids are better to do. Uh, we could do expand civil support, but that lowers our weekly stability, and I lose political power, and I don't want to do that. That don't sound like fun. We'll become fascist in time. Ooh. Research speed. I like this. That This looks pretty good. Uh, that's okay. Refinery concerns. That's okay. Siam de Tella. Siam, I didn't know you influenced Argentinian uh, research. His, Hispano Argentina. Huh. Planes? Oh, wow. Yeah, I never use transport planes. I never use paratroopers just because, I don't know. I've tried them before and they weren't... They weren't to my liking. Anglo-Irish trade war ends. Very nice, very nice. Medium stuff, that's pretty all generic. Ship stuff. Oh no, Arsenal, Naval, Buenos Aires. That looks terrible. That looks terrible as well. I don't like that. <sighs> Probably do use this one. Ast Arsa. Ast Arsa. Tanks. We might make tanks eventually. High command. What do we got here for high command? Not a lot of good stuff. Military staff. We want more offense. Yeah, I'll definitely go for more offense. Here. Luis Podesta Costa. More political power gain. That'd be great. Democracy, communism. All right. Not bad. I'm going to do discredit government. Oh, that actually would, that's actually pretty good. 
less 10% of authoritarianism, which would be perfect for us to do right now. We only lose one stability, so that's actually pretty good. Expand civil support. And I need more political power to hold... Oh, there goes Mexican Junta. To just hold the national referendum, and then we might become fascist. Oh, we're only at 40%. That did knock authoritarianism down by quite a bit, which is good. Infrastructure development. Let us do infrastructure development to the need for a better infrastructure. It's ever increasing. And the benefits are worth the investment. So we get a total of four infrastructure. Amazing. Amazing. Throw those on there. Give me more guns. I know I should be building up more military factories. I really, really need to. But oh well. I want to have at least a line of 20, 25, 15. Oh, we're going to need some of that. And we definitely going to need some of this as well. Yeah, I definitely want more of this. French Indochinos Annex. Vietnam has beaten the French. Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> Hello, Ho Chi Minh. Yeah, my god dang. Y'all already won. That's a little surprising. But of course, France couldn't hold their own. They have a lot of manpower. Holy cow. How many people live in Vietnam? Ah, oh, the Paris Universal Exhibition. Uh, I don't really feel like reading that. Okay, Vietnam, you decided to liberate Cambodia and Laos. There are more people living in Vietnam than in Argentina right now. Yeah. A huge global success to the Paris Universal Exhibition. You okay, Vink? Oh, looks like China's got Hong Kong and that French territory. Alright, Bink, please don't lick my hand right now. Oh no, Vietnam owns a little piece of China. What else is going on? Is Japan going to go to war with the Chinese anytime soon? Oh, yeah, yeah, they, 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 they are. Oh, there they are. Um, 1937, what do we do? I don't know. All I do is play Hoi 4. Well, that's a lie. I play other stuff. Air stuff. What's over here? Engineering. Let's get some basic radio. Specialized equipment. That'd be actually pretty good for more recon. I really like that. And more soft attack. Infantry stuff, though. Eh. I do want to try out some of these special forces. But we can wait. Artillery? That can wait. I'm really concerned about naval stuff. Even though I can't build any of it. It doesn't even really matter. Let's do some synthetic oil for fuel storage. So I can build that stuff up later. Ah, oh, good. So we need a little bit more boost of fascism. Um, Right now, though, national character. I love order above all because I hate strikes so much. Really don't like those strikes. Limited rights, equality, patriarchy. I like the patriarchy one. Just because you get more output. But I like total equality because you get more weekly manpower. Social order. I can't do melting pot. That'd be a waste of time. The greater good. I like that. That's not bad. A little more population. Cultural norms. Hierarchy. Eh, they're okay. Ideological struggle. I really like that. But is that really worth it right now? Prince of Terror. Backroom backstabber. It's only 5% more political power. And ideology drift defense, that wouldn't help us right now. So, let's help we do industrial concerns. I'm doing a lot of industrial things, and that gives us a little bit more time to become more fascist quicker. And national reunification, I would love to do that, become La Plata. Oh, and I get the Antofagasta becomes a core, the Falkland Islands get a claim. Recent political unification hurts us a little bit. Oh, it actually does hurt us quite a, quite a bit. But I really want to form La Plata. That'd be really cool. Um, how much daily fascist gain do we get? 0 0.05 infrastructure development. Good, let's get technological initiative. We are completely outdated in technology. A considerable inversion will be needed if we ever want to become a modern nation. Uh, Japan declares war on China. What else is new? Federal highways. There goes Japan again. Marco Polo Bridge incident. I thought they were going communist. Maybe not. Oh, wait, hold on. Chinese United Front formed. 
They have more divisions in us, which isn't good. Um, yeah, maybe not. Because they went down this path. Second Communist Putsch. Modify Cultural anthrop Anthropophagy. Yeah. Oh, Fascist Assault Divisions form. The political and martial law have always been intertwined in fascism. The parallel with its growing political movement, fascist parties have begun to form paramilitary organizations to protect against both internal and external threats, the internal threats being their political opponents. Although many people find this development worrying, the wave of militaristic fervor has led to an increased amount of volunteers joining our armed forces. Oh, nice. More population, less stability, more fascist gain. The political leaders of the movement have pointed that their opponents have reason to be afraid having the army permeated. Okay, it happened. Actually, I, I kind of don't mind that. We get more, uh, slightly more uh, population. We get more daily fascism support, which we're now at 50, which is great. Less stability, which, you know, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some more fuel gain, because that's going to be important from the little bit of fuel that we are currently already get. And we will end this episode by becoming fascist. Once we have enough political power, which we currently have, 1.56. Still, nice. Come on, and... Ta-da! Fascist demand referendum. The rapidly growing Argentinian fascist movement has never claimed that they needed majority support before they seized power, counting on uniting the nation under the leadership once the rules established. However, it seems their public support has grown rapidly. Many fascists are now calling Agustin Pedro Justo a hypocrite, claiming to represent the wishes of the people while turning a deaf ear to the masses who want to set Argentina on the path to greatness. The call for a referendum has been dismissed as typical attempts at disrupting the system by Concordancia members so far, but at least it's a political measure. If we do not act now, the fascists may choose the violent struggle as a better path to power. UNF becomes a ruling party, we lose a little bit of stability, and we become Finland. Yep, we become Finland. Hello, Nemo de Anquin. But anyways, guys, that's all the time for that we have today. It's a little bit over half an hour, but whatever. Hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did, or if you're new here, eh, maybe leave a like if you like it. Like the video, you know. Subscribe if you're new as well, if you haven't already. Uh, check out my Discord link below and tell me about Argentina. And I will see you all tomorrow as we shall begin reforming La Plata and pushing and spreading Argentinian greatness throughout South America. Thanks for watching and have a great day.